Hello guys, back again for another update. In this update I am testing the volumetric cloud shadow projection onto the planetary surface. Now I was told that uh, you know it might be more performant to generate that within the planet's uh, surface shader but what I'm doing is I am generating that noise mask into a render texture that I'll be able to access later to create my dynamic weather system because I'm going to be doing pixel sampling on it to detect dense cloud areas. Now in this example the I have the clouds moving uh, very fast and let me go ahead and get that started. Flight controls activated. So I'm not done with the cloud uh, formation deformation yet. I'm still working on the clouds. Uh, my focus right now is on three things primarily, which is the outer atmosphere, the inner atmosphere, the clouds, and the lighting uh, combination effect with all three of those systems. Now you see on the planet's surface the uh, cloud shadows appearing on the surface. And I will Flight go ahead controls deactivated. Fly up there. Flight controls activated. Now, for anyone new watching this video, this planet is one million meters in diameter in the game engine, which is uh, pretty massive in size. I can actually scale it up much larger than that, but it's not really practical uh, to attempt uh, real-world scales or anything close to it in a game engine uh, though I, I may go ahead and do one of like five million uh, meters in diameter or something just for fun um, in order to do that you have to do even higher resolution textures and uh, the bigger scale you have the more you have to do with the textures to get it to a little high resolution now this is I am doing a performance test here so uh, what's drawing the performance is the volumetric cloud system uh, overdraw, basically. So if I look away from the planet, you'll notice that the performance goes way up to 94 frames a second. But when I look at the planet here, we have a big performance drop. Now it's coming from the overdraw. Uh, that performance drop isn't actually coming from the shaders themselves but the overdraw from the volumetric cloud layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly up here to the planet. And I am working on the atmosphere. Uh, when I enter, get close to the atmosphere horizon here, you can see that I basically pass through it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a system that's kinda like an inverse Fresnel that will basically kind of punch a hole in it the, the closer you get to the event horizon so it'll appear that you're basically passing through the atmosphere without seeing the seam basically uh, in the outer atmosphere's event horizon plane in the inner atmosphere which is basically the skybox uh, so I want those two things when you enter and exit to be a seamless transition. So that's one thing that I'll be working on very soon. So here you can see the shadows. Directly under these clouds. <clears throat> one improvement that I'm going to make to the shadow system is I'm going to uh, make it a little better by making the clouds uh, darker and lighter depending on the density of the uh, clouds, the cloud density basically. So the denser the clouds, the darker the shadows basically. Right now it's just a solid color basically. And I may also need to do a little bit of offsetting with the shadows to uh, make them appear correct with the direction of the sunlight as well. The position and direction of the sun relative to the planet. So 
So there you have it. Cloud uh, shadow projection onto the surface of the planet. Thank you.